Hi everyone, welcome. Sorry it has been a while. I've been making these um, mini journals and I've done four so far and they're all mushroom. So I'm going to change it up and do a couple of these images from a stamp set um, that was one of those you get with your paper craft magazine. So um, I got a whole load of music paper and suspension file folders when I went to my local um, op shop St Paul's and Elaine had saved them for me because they can't sell them so yeah if you want some craft supplies um, yeah have a chat to your to your local they're usually the church run ones are, are really really good so all I have done I'll give you the measurements in case anybody is interested and it's just just easy it's four and a quarter inches by um, eight and seven eighths then you need to score at one inch one and three quarters five and five and three quarters that's it so you've got a three quarter inch spine so i'm just filling them um you know like with coffee dyed papers blanks lined and um the most important thing is when you uh, score your inside cardboard first and fold it then glue on your your um, cardboard box, your corrugated box, and yeah, I, um, I, I don't know, I just really, really love using them. So that's the first step. Um, the next step is, I don't actually think it's necessary to cover these little spine pieces, but I think it looks really nice. Um, that's the only reason I'm doing it, and everything is sewn around as well. So for example, um, this is sewn on either side of the fabric and I've just got two lots of um, stitching down the middle there. I've gone around the outside edge and the little closure, the string, I've sewn over that a couple of times. So, you know, you can do, do what you like with them. They're really, really um, easy and fun. So let's do this and I'm going to put this lovely image on. Um, I just think she is just so beautiful and I, I just love it so much and I'm going to use red I don't know why but I always feel that red um, looks really um, good with this sort of thing now this one I do feel as though it's a little bit wide um, the piece that folds over but I think it's actually necessary to get it to um, sit better versus if it, if it was narrower I hope that made an ounce of sense but what I might first do while I'm here I'm going to glue this music paper down and um, it it really needs um, to be backed on something because the corrugate cardboard with it being all I want to say rippled um, yeah the really old music paper um, needs something sturdy on it because it, it'll just it'll just fall apart so I am going to just make sure that that is going to fit on there yep and glue that on and that can be be drying as well and I probably will go around the image um, I don't know what what color I'd like to go around it. Maybe black. I've been using black. I think it just looks really cool um, with the black stamping. And I actually haven't even been gluing that piece on. I have just sort of held it there and um, started stitching around. So I'll leave that. Get the fabric glue out ready for the spine so the things you know uh, three quarters of an inch so you know you just need enough that you're going to have a little um, a little edge both sides really so that you can get your um, get it sewn And 
will need two pieces. So I'm going to cut another one. Let's get rid of these pieces that just get in the way. That was the, the raw edge that was there anyway. So I'm just going to get some scissors on that. Alright, so what we need is enough to wrap right the way around and I don't know about there. I did um oops I did tie myself and the the cover along with all the sewing took about 30 minutes to make and then however long it, it takes you to decide on your papers and things like that. So I like my um my piece to start on the bottom. And then wrap around everyone does it differently too so i'm just going to sort of line line my fabric up a little bit and just place place it down just eyeballing that it, it looks a little bit the same size you know the overhang doesn't matter if it's not perfect the amount of times I've actually put this on it's been crooked um, and then I've had to get a piece of lace or something to cover it up towards the end of this glue bottle thank you um, that's the one really good thing about junk journals is this usually a fix um, it's usually a fix for a mistake. That's what I find anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure that looks somewhat straight there at the top. And then I can use that as my guide. having a look there that that looks fairly straight as well and we need to cut some off I won't fold that until um, it's all dry and it's been sewn.
you know, once the glue gets on your hands, everything sticks, doesn't it? I always find that when I use glue stick. The paper the paper's not sticking, but everything is then sticking to my hand that's got glue stick on it. <laughs> fantastic so that's ready we need a bit of a closure as well I'm on the tail end this was string that was my parents and I'm gonna guess it's like 15 year old um, it'll be a bit sad when when it's all finished but um, what I do is just do a piece like that and sew it so I need to make sure that's enough to tie a bow and then when that is wrapped around it's you know about the same the same length so that's how I work out the closure and that piece that I have Folded. I'm keeping that pinched and what I do I fold it facing that way but you can do it that way it's really quite irrelevant and probably look quite nice going from that way so we might switch we might switch it up a little bit and I just put this little clip there holding it because the amount of times that that string will float around on my desk um, over at the sewing machine and then I have to do all that folding over and you know putting it around everything once again um, to see where the um, what point it's supposed to be so I just find that that's a whole load easier so I am going to go over to the sewing machine I'm going to sew around that image and I'm going to zigzag here, here, here and here and then I will just give that um, a gentle fold and then I know that's about halfway and put a line of stitching there and go right the way around and probably three times go down, up and, and back down um, and that's that's the the closure attached. So I am gonna do that and I'll show you what it looks like Okay, all sewn. So this will go on this bit and That works out pretty good because I actually <laughs> I Actually didn't even wait for the glue to dry. I know I just wait for glue to dry and I didn't um, yeah, and so I had a little bit of a connection there with the sewing machine, so that is going to cover it up <laughs> really, really well. Um, so that, for once, has worked out out good for me. Um, I don't know what was wrong, why, <laughs> why I didn't wait for it to dry. Um, yeah, some sometimes you just don't think, do you? I don't know, I reckon it's, as I've got older, I most definitely have got worse. Maybe it's just part of ageing. I saw a post, I don't know if it was Facebook or Instagram, but I laughed my head off. And it was the, when you're over 50, the things that you say. Um, I think I've, I've probably said that before in a video, but still... Um, still makes me chuckle. I saw a really, really funny one that I couldn't stop, stop laughing yesterday. It was um, the person had filmed them passing things to their partner while they were on a Zoom meeting. <laughs> that was so funny. There was like this, um, there was a bra, there was one of those um, soldier 
um, ornaments, Christmas, you know, I can't even think what they're called. I want to say Tin Soldier, but I don't think that's right. And um, <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> and just the things that were being passed. And eventually she passed something and he just like flicked it away with his hand. And he's still talking very seriously in his Zoom meeting. And um, then he pretended, he was going like this, he pretended then there was this bug around. It was so funny. It was probably staged, but it, yeah, made me laugh. And then um, I got a silent migraine. <laughs> it's funny. I reckon that is just so stinking cute. I'll probably put something a bit heavier um, and weight that a little bit. feel as though they are that happy at the moment those those pieces but once it stays in its um, position you know for a day I think it'll it'll come right my goodness everything seems very fiddly today I suppose that's the thing when you um, work on smaller journals, isn't it? I do like the minis, but they are time consuming if you are filling them with anything apart from blanks. Um, you know, the cover, as you can see, it didn't take very long at all. And I just think that that is, is so lovely. And, you know, how... Um, how very different it looks to the mushroom one. It's a whole different vibe, isn't it? I really, really like it. So I've made four of the mushies, and what makes if I've got four images of this. Um, I did uh, do an image that I thought could look really, really sweet, but yeah, I, I, I think I will. They're, and they're, they're gonna be donated anyway from the place that gave me the free stuff, which I do. Um, just always think there might be a little kid that can't afford anything for mum for Christmas and you know they might charge 50 cents for it and it's probably probably cost me I don't know 10 cents in glue or something and thread or well, not even the thread because I get my thread from the op shops but I just love that love it love it love it all right thanks for joining me um I might turn the camera on um making some more of the uh, cd sleeves and the music paper so until next time take care and happy crafting bye